the Sinai church or a legalist church, there's no celebration. Oh, yeah. When you really get to Zion, nothing but freedom. Praise. So I told you, if we really knew what was in this house, if we really knew what the, 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 the dimensions and the, the pattern that God has given us to become, you couldn't contain yourself. You'd be like David, out of your clothes, out of your mind. Am I right? We was in them giving in churches and we was, hey! <laughs> That's why I ain't gonna say no name, but some people was at a funeral and somebody got loose. I said, all right, I'm gonna hold you on that one. <laughs> you gonna get free here, but can't get free at home? <laughs> <laughs> Call them on the car. <laughs> I mean, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> We shouldn't be on that level. We, we, there, there's, there's a demonstration that should come out of this house. We're not a religious system. Because the kingdom is a habitual thing. The habitation of God is a habitual thing. It is the rule of God established in our hearts and our lives. Why? Because we order it. We're in alignment and we establish it because we have core values and convictions. Synonymous with the scriptures. But the easiest way the enemy will disallow it or disavow it in your mind is to say that's apostles. Yeah. Yeah. He'll love to discredit the information because that'll tell yourself that I don't have to get on that page. Y'all in here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he tell you. He said, you know what? That's just apostles, Steve. He just wants something. He wants me to be something that I ain't, don't feel like I want to be. No, I want you to be what he paid for you to be. For you to be free. He paid for you to walk in prosperity. He paid for your mind to be made up. He didn't pray for you to be all scrambled up in your thinking. He didn't pay for you to walk around in chains and, and shackles. He paid in full for you to be free in full. That is what he paid for. I'm not a miser. I'm not a dictator. I'm not a cruel person. I'm not an austere man. I just expect whatever the seed is, the harvest is to be. That's why I told you. I serve the man of God correctly. I haven't yet got my harvest. It has to show up. Because I'm going to stay faithful in the midst of confusion. In the midst of rebellion. In the midst of... People don't even care nothing about me. I'm still going to speak perpendicular. I'm still going to walk circumspectly because I still, I'm not going to taint my harvest to come. I, you know, I got the first fruit of it. I've seen it already. So, it don't, you know what? I, 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 that's what I told myself. I, I don't care what preach, preaching and teaching. I'm staying, so there's only one other answer. Right? Because we need the kingdom. Yes. You don't need my opinion. Yes. You don't need what I say. Yes. We need the tangible kingdom because when the kingdom <laughs> of God has connected on a, on a level that he has already pre-wired, pre-set it to be, yes. all the provision that's needed comes with it. Yes. Everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, undeniably, a lot of ministers get blamed for what's not in a person's life. I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it according to what's being declared, don't blame nobody else. Yeah. Blame yourself. Yeah. Don't blame me. Don't leave me and say, well, it was. No, it was you. There you go. That's it. I put your feet in the fire and I told you this is what God's expectation is for us. Not. I didn't even make it personal. I just said, with a, blank, with a wide stroke, I just brushed the whole room. Right. You don't even know who I'm talking to. Right. <laughs> it's all inclusive work. It's all of us. Yeah, amen. These are the expectations that God has required for all of us. Yeah. I read the Bible. You can't persuade me any other way. He said, from the least to the greatest, from the pews to the pulpit, yeah. the whole house is to be holy. Yeah. It's not my right. Yeah. Amen. I have absolutely nothing to do with it. But I'm guilty by association. 
So you can't hit him. You can't leave him. You can't talk about him. Am I right? You can't hold back on him. So you're going to hold back on me. Right? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, yeah. Matthew 10 says something that's really profound. He said, when you receive him that, that has sent me, you receive not only he who he sent, you receive the sender. So if you break the chain of commandment and decide I want him, which starts from the head up, automatically you default. Because you got to take, it's a whole part, it's a triune uh, method. Not only are you going to receive me, and not only are you going to receive the ministry of Christ in me, but then you can't receive the Father fully. Sure. So if you're just going to bump me and think you're going to get the guy, it don't work that way. That's Bible. And, are y'all still with me? Because, like I said, we don't have the honor that we need to have. But honor is the currency. You're not just faith. You honor God. God said, honor is the currency of God manifestation. He said, if you obey me, am I right? Am I, John 14, 21, did he, did he not say, we'll make our abode with you? He said, if you keep my commandments, we just need obedience. No, no, he said, if you honor my commandments, I'll reveal myself to you. Y'all never read it in the Bible? That's what he wants. He wants his rule in our hearts. He wants our lives to be changed. He don't want us to be chameleons and comedians. <laughs> he don't want us just to go through the motion. He don't want us to be religious. He wants us to cast aside that mistress cloth. He wants us to cast aside the garments that, that seek to defile us. And so we come into our inheritance. This, this thing, he, he wants us to understand that, that his government will encompass the heavens, the earth, the society, the family, everything about us. He wants everything that's connected to us to be blessed. But it cannot be blessed like we went to Isaiah 9 without ordering it. Yes. So in establishing, yes. which says this word is an anchor to me. Yes. The message of the kingdom is an anchor to me. Yes. I'm not going to be moved away from this hope. Yes. Yes. He consecrated for us a new and living yes. way. All right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what he consecrated for us. Yes. You got to make up your mind. Yes. Because he, said, he already said, he said, I didn't come into the world to bring peace. He said, I came to bring a sword. Yeah. Then one translation to another place said, fire. <laughs> he came to bring distinction. God never intended for us to be all mixed up. He never intended for us to look like a Buddhist or, or, <laughs> or Hinduism or any other one of the religions. He never intended for us to be cogent. And all those labels that we found a, a safety in and it become our Spiritual oasis? No, no. The only way we can have safety is that he already told us. He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it. Not the name of our denominations. The name of the Lord. His characteristics. His nature. Huh? And his destiny. Because the name denotes a, a destiny, an inheritance. That's what we need to run into and be safe. Yeah. He came to make distinction between this world and my kingdom. That's what he said. That I have a kingdom that you cannot have. When he was speaking to Pilate, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. Why is it that saints, church people, still think according to the patterns and the course of this world? Any little thing sets us off. Everything that we know that the world used to be was the very thing we ran from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yet it becomes our, 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 our uh, uh, a sanctuary of sorts. When things don't go according to the way we want it mm -hmm. to, then we revert to old behavior. Mm -hmm. I know. God wants to take that, 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 that not that, I want to say stench, but no, it, that, that tendency that we... Revert back to old patterns. 
Because the realm that we've been accustomed to, the, the life that you pro had before you met Jesus was an illusion. Mm -hmm. Come on. That was not even you. Come on. Mm -hmm. I sit down many times and that stuff I was in, that wasn't even me. Right. Me shooting at folks, that ain't in me. Come on. I, I mean, come on. I was, a, I was a bookworm and glasses and everything. <laughs> and, uh, seriously, I had, when I was eighth grade, I would have straight A's. I had nothing but A's. Quiet. I'll go to the library before I do anything else. I was studious, you know, encyclopedias. My mom would get us encyclopedias. I'd go through the encyclopedia and rewrite what's in the encyclopedia. Just so I get my retention right. Mm -hmm. And I carry it with me so I can just learn. Didn't know that it was going to be with scriptures too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, oh, that was a precursor. That wasn't the real me. That was hey amen. That was basic training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what most of us went through basic training. Yeah. That's not even us. Sure. So we still go back to those shadows. I know some of y'all came out of some un uh, uncommonly, uh, uh, unseemly activities and uh, uh, unsavory characters. And <laughs> some of y'all still on 50 minutes split, but most of y'all come out. But, <laughs> but that stuff. It never had its intention. It has. It didn't. Have, it didn't reflect kingdom realities, eternal realities. Are you following me? Yes. The kingdom of God must become that heaven comes on earth when the kingdom of God is in fruition. And it it's not spooky. It's not scary. It's not this thing. It's not blue smoke. It's not levitating. It's not uh, people spinning. Yeah, yeah. Demons come out. Yeah, that's a part of it. That's the ministry of the kingdom. Yes. I'm talking about the life of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. You can't necessarily live from the ministry of the kingdom. Right. Right. I was telling somebody, I'm a better man than I am a ministry. Come on. Mm -hmm. I am. I spend more time on the man mm -hmm. than I do on ministry. They flow out of the same well. <laughs> you don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. But there's a preference in me. I, I prefer to be a better man at home. Amen. Mm -hmm. sure. Come on now, because I'm going to spend a lot of time at home. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I, you know, the, it's just, in the balance, I mean, wow. church is just lacking. I, I just got to make sure that Steve, the man without the apostles, oh, is, 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 